The sign says, Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas. But we all know it's only fabulous if you happen to be winning money up and down the strip at the sports books. Bottom line, if you're not, it's a miserable trip in Vegas. You and I both know that as well. Hey, listen, guys, the sports books make money. That's the sad, unfortunate truth. No matter how much they cry, they generally make money. That's why they don't make these little rinky-dink casinos and they make these mega resorts and palaces up and down the strip. And believe me, you, the gambling public, you're funding their coffers. My job is to try to stem that tide, to turn the tide, shall we say, to make you money. I've certainly been doing that in college football past six weeks, going 16-6-1 overall in college football. Past uh, two weeks, week and a half to two weeks, college and pro combined. Entering the weekend, having won nine out of 11 in college and pro football, and now it's time to get to your Saturday action. Hi everyone, Al DeBarco here. This will be your Saturday video report as I've got three free picks to break down here for you. Georgia, Kentucky in the SEC, Clemson and Georgia Tech over in the ACC, and your Big 12 battle between Oklahoma and Missouri. Do the Sooners become the third straight number one team on the heels of Ohio State and Alabama to be victimized and fall on a Saturday. We shall see. You know, home favorites last week in college football, just one game over 500 at 17, 16, and one against the spread. Favorites overall last week, whether home or on the road, 28 and 25 ATS last week. You know, year to date, guys, favorites are just 28 games over 500. Now, that may sound impressive, but when you think that seven weeks of games have been played, it really isn't. And double digit chalks, 18 games over 500 so far. 14 of them have lost outright. Three of them last week. As I well know, and my clients well know, one of them happened to be Nebraska, laying 10 at home against uh, Texas. Another, Central Michigan, uh, laying 13 at home against Miami. And uh, Ball State, laying 15 points at home, losing outright to an Eastern Michigan team. That had, or uh, Eastern Michigan team that had only lost 18 straight games coming into that contest. Today, I've got uh, a trio of uh, five-dime plays going, those five-dime releases, guys. I'm on a 13-3-1 roll over the past uh, four or five weeks in college football, 13 out of 16 in the bank. Today, two-team teaser of the month, plus Mountain West blowout of the year and my whack game of the year, Hawaii and Utah State. Now, I'll be the first to admit. When you see these games, you're going to say these are not big-time battles. These are not marquee matchups. Guess what, guys? The marquee games are the hardest ones to win. Always has been the case. The lines are always the sharpest on those. I like to concentrate the most where the odds makers concentrate the least. You know, and that's the way I've made money. Eight straight years in college and pro football. Eight straight winning seasons. And again, today, three more five-dimers. I've won 13 out of 16 of those plays. I've won nine out of 11 in football combined college and pro the past couple weeks. 16, six and one run coming into the weekend in college football over the past six weeks. And that's what I've got going today. And here's something for you before I get to the free picks. Another coupon, which is only available to those of you watching these videos. It's my way of thanking you for your loyalty and your patronage. I like to do it about once a week. This coupon is good either today or tomorrow, guys. And the discount coupon is MONEY20. Try to say that three times quickly. MONEY20. No space between the word money and the number 20. Enter it in your shopping cart when prompted. And you will save $20 off any purchase today. You don't necessarily have to buy my picks, guys. You can buy anybody's plates, anybody's package, either today or tomorrow. Save $20. Use that coupon code again, MONEY20, when prompted in your shopping cart. Now, your first free pick. Let's look at the Georgia-Kentucky game. Are you surprised that the Bulldogs are laying four points in this contest on the road? I'm not really. Hey, look, everybody sees that Georgia blew out Tennessee and Vanderbilt the past two weeks at home in their two best games of the year, 84-14, the combined winning score. Meanwhile, this is a prime letdown spot for Kentucky after trailing by uh, 21 points at uh, halftime last week against South Carolina. They rally in the second half, upset the Gamecocks 31-28 in that game. This is also a revenge game for Georgia. Last year, uh, between the hedges in Athens, Kentucky was down 20-6 at half. Uh, they then were down 28-10 to 10 in the fourth quarter. They rallied for a 34-27 win, so I would say go with Georgia here. And Aaron Murray, their quarterback's been playing very good ball here of late. Uh, last two games in those wins against Tennessee and Vanderbilt, both blowouts, 32-49, two touchdown passes. On the season, averaging 236 yards a game, 62% completions, 12 touchdowns, just three interceptions. Uh, go with Georgia. They're currently a four-point favorite. I would buy down the hook, down to three and a half. Remember, I'm a firm believer in buying the per half point when the line crosses three, four, seven, or... Or 
generally 10 points. And again, what I mean by that, if the line is four in this case, you either buy up to four and a half or down to three and a half, depending on if you're in the favorite or the underdog. I, of course, am on the favorite here in this one, so I would buy down to three and a half. Remember with these free picks, these are not the plays that I am personally betting. These are not the plays that I'm releasing to my customers. Those are the same plays I'm betting here in Vegas. These are, in essence, the best of the worst, or the best of the rest. However you want to put it, it's the same thing. Generally, I go ahead and I handicap an entire card. I have a handful of games. I pick down, narrow down that card, find the games that I'm personally wagering on, the games that are left. They're good quality selections. That's why they're free picks. They just have a little flaw, something that gets me off of them before I put my own money on them. That's why I'm releasing them as free picks. But as you know... I do pretty damn well with the free selections. Your next play is going to be Georgia Tech and Clemson. You know the underdog has absolutely owned this series, covering 18 of the last 21 battles. 18 out of 21. The home team has only covered three times in the last 11 meetings, and this is generally a very close game because 12 of the last 15 have been decided by five points or less. And what's the line today? Georgia Tech is a five-and-a-half-point road dog. Listen, Clemson snapped a three-game losing streak last week by beating up Maryland at home 31-7, to but the Tigers were outgained in that contest 350 to 213 in terms of total yards so I can't really get that enthused with Clemson plus all the trends certainly back Georgia Tech now Tech's coming off a 42-14 home win against Middle Tennessee State laying 18 and a half points have to be honest with you it was a 14-7 game at Grand Field in halftime in that one but I still like Georgia Tech I think this should be a field goal line you're getting five and a half I've got to go with the rambling wreck here even though this is a team that you know still in the back of my mind I remember lost to Kansas earlier this year and we know how bad the Jayhawks were but in a conference game like this, I'll grab the points with the live road dog. Finally, Oklahoma and Missouri. This one priced the Sooners a three-point favorite. You know, this is another case where the Sooners have dominated this series. They've won 19 to 20 meetings straight up, dating back to 1983. Since Bob Stoops arrived in Norman, they are a perfect seven for seven against Mizzou. Yes, Oklahoma is certainly vulnerable to the pass, and Missouri can throw the ball. They gave up 341 yards to Utah State, 305 yards to Cincinnati, another road game. Uh, and this is payback for Missouri, because remember, in back-to-back -back Big 12 title games in 2007 and 2008, they were outscored by the Sooners and Sam Bradford 100-38 to in those games. But Missouri has some defensive problems as well. They can't stop the run. Gave up 200 yards rushing to Illinois, 250 yards rushing to San Diego State. DeMarco Murray is going to get his yards here today for the Sooners. Even though Oklahoma didn't look that great against Texas, didn't look that great on the road against Cincinnati, I like the Sooners here. Minus three, I'd buy down to two and a half. Keep in mind, who the hell is Missouri played? Illinois beat them 23 to 13 in their season opener. Texas A&M, they beat up on the road. Big deal. A&M can't play any defense. They won 30 to nine in College Station. San Diego State, they only won by three at home, 27-24. Come on, San Diego State, give me a break. A better team this year, but not a world beater. Oklahoma minus the three, buy down to two and a half. Again, as for me today, I've got my teaser of the month, my Mountain West blowout of the year, and my whack game of the year on Hawaii, Utah State. They're all five dime plays. 99% of my plays rated between five and 15 dimes. There's five dime plays in college football alone. 13 out of 16 in the bank over the past four to five weeks. And college football overall the past six weeks on a 16 and six run. Get them now. And remember, save $20 on any purchase today simply by entering the discount coupon MONEY20. Money 20 in your shopping cart. You can use that coupon today or tomorrow. Best of luck, everybody. I'll catch you again on Sunday with your NFL breakdowns.